Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Trevor James here, and I'm bringing you guys a, another deck profile for you. So today I have for you guys a uh, Goki uh, deck profile. I really like Gokis. I think it's a very interesting archetype. Um, I really want them to expand on it, and obviously we only have two sets that have a couple Gokis in it, but the Gokis are an incredibly spammable engine, or monsters in general. Uh, the fact that anytime they're sent from the field to the graveyard, uh, you get to basically search your deck for another Goki card and add it to your hand, and it's it's a once return effect, but it's per Goki, so obviously if you send... Um, you know, two different Gokis to the graveyard, you get to search your deck for two other Goki cards, as long as they're not the ones that were sent to the graveyard, so incredibly, incredibly good abilities, and then they just spam out the crazy powerful Link monsters and stuff like that, and then I am pairing it with a Metal Foes engine, because uh, anytime um, a monster gets an effect off of when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can definitely pair that with Metal Foes, because of the fact that Metal Foes destroy, and then they... Um, you know, get out all their Metal Foes fusions and stuff like that. So I am running a full Metal Foes engine as well, almost complete, along with the Goki engine. So I'll go ahead and explain uh, all of my reasonings and stuff like that when I get to all the cards and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this, guys. So, because I'm running the Metal Foes engine, I'm running a pretty standard Metal Foes engine. The only thing that's a little bit different for me is I am playing kind of an interesting um, scale engine, because I'm actually running six of each scale. So, uh, to explain that, I'm running uh, three Metal Foes uh, Gold Finder. Um, this card, obviously, is like one of the, mon one of the main Metal Foes, uh, or Gold Driver, not Gold Finder. One of the main, main Metal Foes, and it's basically the scale one that, you know, pops everything. Same thing with all the other Metal Foes, of course. And then we have uh, Metal Foes Silvered, uh, the other scale one, you know. You guys know what Metal Foes do, I don't need to explain them to you. Uh, so I'm running the, um, basically the six scale ones there. And then I'm also running uh, Metal Foes Volflame for the scale eight, two of those. I'm also running Metal Foes Stealing for the other scale eight. And then I'm running two... Uh, Rare Metal Foes Bismagear. Um, I really like Bismagear, um, but I'm only running it at two. I know it searches and it's a really good card along with the normal Metal Foes effects, but the only problem with it is it is a effect monster and I do run three of the Painful Choice, so there are times when I can brick because it's the only card that's in my deck and I can't search out the other ones, so I need to be able to have these to be able to use Painful Decision. So I'm running it at two and I like it at two. It works really well. So basically I'm running uh, six scale ones and six scale eights. Um, I, I really like that actually. It works really well for me, so, um, full Metal Foes engine. Uh, for the Gokis, I'm pretty much running a pretty standard build of Gokis as well. I'm running three Goki Suprex. Uh, this is obviously the main Goki card. If you guys don't know what Gokis do, when you summon Suprex, um, he has his normal effect, where basically when you normal summon a Suprex, you get a special summon another Goki from your hand. And then all Goki monsters have the ability that when they're sent from the field to the graveyard, um, you get to uh, add a Goki card, not monster, but Goki card from your deck to your hand, as long as it's not the same one that was sent. So you can't add a Suprex from a Suprex getting sent to the graveyard. They only use their effect once per of course, so you can only use one Super X's effects once per turn to search your deck to add another Goki card to your hand. Uh, next up, I'm only running two of the Goki or Scorpio. Uh, I like this card. Obviously, its ability to be normal summoned um, or um, normal summoned if you have no monsters on your field or if you only have Goki monsters on your field is really good. It's a 2300 beater, um, and then it's a fact that you know obviously it has a normal effect when it's sent to the graveyard. You guys search your deck for a Goki card, add it to your hand as long as it's not for Scorpio. Um, but I'm only running it too because it can brick. I know you can uh, special summon it using like your whole like scales and stuff like that, but. It doesn't come into a factor that much. I do like it at 2. At 2, it works really well. And I am running a little bit more Goki, so it works really well for me. And then I'm running uh, 3 Goki Twist Cobra. This is the other really good card. Go Goki Twist Cobra basically states that you can send a Goki monster from your field to the graveyard to target another Goki monster on your field and give it the attack of that other Goki monster. So you can hella buff your Goki monsters with this ability, and then you still get the search off of Twist Cobra's effect. So it's a very, very good card. You can obviously use Twist Cobra's effect to send itself to make another monster gain like 1600 attack for that turn. So it's pretty powerful. And then I am testing a uh, one Goki Headbat for the new Goki card. I like this card, actually. Uh, you discard a Goki monster from your hand to special summon it to the the field and then you pick another Goki monster on the field and it gains 800 attack. Obviously because of the fact these are so spammable and you can call out tons of links and other stuff, uh, it's a good card and you always want to have the ability to make uh, link 3 if need be because this deck can easily spam out link 3s. So yeah, that's all of my Goki monsters. Let's go ahead and get to the rest of the deck. Um, because I am playing Metal Foes, of course, I am, of course, playing Bubble Boons. You kind of have to. Um, this card is really good because it's your main draw engine of the deck. Um, and I just really, really like it at 3. You can't really run it, obviously, anything else at 3. And I'm happy I got a hold of my supers. And then I'm running the one Maxi. Uh, I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep Maxi in this format right now. There's not a ton of decks that special summon like crazy. You drop a Maxi down, sometimes it doesn't even stop them because they're just like, uh, you know, I'll just beat over you and stuff like that. 
helps in times, but other times, I don't know. Maxi's kind of an interesting card right now. It's a great card, but I don't know about this format. Uh, and then, uh, I'm not playing super competitively, so I'm not playing, like, all the hand traps and stuff like that, so that's my monster lineup. Um, next up, I have, uh, the three Goki rematches. Uh, this card is insane. Uh, the fact that it's basically a double monster reborn in one turn, they do get special summoned in defense, but it is specifically for the Goki monsters. Um, you basically activate it, special summon two Goki monsters from your graveyard in defense position, um, and then, uh, they have to be different levels, of course, and then on top of that, um, you, you can only activate it once per turn, but the fact that it's a double monster reborn is kind of nuts. So, super, super good. Uh, and then I am playing uh, an interesting choice here. Transmodify. Uh, this card is incredible in this deck because you summon a Goki, activate Transmodify, send that Goki to the graveyard, get the effect of that Goki, and then you get a special summon a level higher. So if you go, like, um, let's say, like, Goki uh, Twist Cobra, and then you activate this, you can then special summon Goki, and then when Goki's normal summoned or special summoned, you can special summon another one from your graveyard. Or I think it's only normal summoned. Um, so you don't get the second effect off of Goki, but you still get uh, another Goki to your field, and then you can totally get off of your plays, and it's it's kind of insane, um, and I really, really like uh, that card. Works really, really well with the Goki archetype, in my opinion. Uh, next up, we have the three Painful Decisions. Uh, Painful Decision is a really, really good card in Metal Foes because of the fact that you can basically search your deck for any Metal Foe card um, and add it to your hand as long as you... Uh, well, you, you discard one from, from your deck and add the same one to your hand. Um, really, really good card for any Metal Foes just because you can search out the specific scale that you're looking for and stuff like that. So, really, really good card. Um, and that's why I only run Bismagir too. And then, because I'm playing Metal Foes, of course, I am playing the one Metal Foes Fusion and the one full Metal Foes Fusion. You kind of have to. These cards are really, really good in this deck, and Metal Foes Fusion can obviously be sent back into your deck every turn uh, after you activate it, so you never really have to play more than one. Um, and then I have the one Rota to round up the rest of the spells. Uh, Rota, because all the Gokis are warriors, this card's really, really good in this deck. Uh, Road is good in any warrior deck, of course. And then for the traps, I'm only playing three traps. I play the two Metal Foes counter. Uh, this is a great trap, obviously, because of the fact that it, you know, lets you search your uh, search your cards off destruction um, and really good. And then, you know, it has its removal effect, too. And then uh, Metal Foes combination, uh, same thing. Obviously, both of these cards basically search for your other ones and then add more back from your extra deck and stuff like that. So you have to play these when you're playing any kind of Metal Foes deck. Uh, so that's it for the actual deck. Next up, I'm going to go through the extra deck. Extra deck, I don't know if it's complete. Uh, it's I like it, but I don't have some of the, you know, more powerful uh, Link 3s and stuff like that. Um, so right now, this is kind of what I have. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and go to this. Obviously, for the Metal Foes, I have one Metal Foes Adamanti. I have two Metal Foes Ori Calc because the fact that you can do double piercing damage is insane. Um, and then I have uh, three Metal Foes Mithrilian uh, because the uh, bounce effect is incredible. And then uh, one Alka Heist, of course, because you uh, Metal Foes with Alka Heist is insane. Uh, for the uh, XCs, I'm only playing a couple. I have MX Saber Invoker uh, because this card is incredibly good in any kind of warrior deck. Um, I have uh, Castell, uh, Sky, Sky Blast Ma uh, Musketeer. Um, Castell is still amazing too because obviously it bounces and super, super good bounces to the deck. So amazing. And then uh, one Abyss Dweller because graveyard effects are still very prevalent and Abyss Dweller stops those. Uh, for the Links, I am playing, for Link 2s, I have Mrs. Radiant. Uh, and then I have uh, Proxy Dragon. We all know what Mrs. Radiant and Proxy Dragon do. I don't have to explain it. Obviously, because my deck is all Earth, or mostly all Earth, besides obviously the Metal Foe stuff. Um, all the Goki stuff gets huge boost from this card, so really, really good. I may honestly bump it up to two, but I don't have any space right now. And then I'm only playing one Goki Great Ogre. Um, I was playing it at two, but then I realized that you obviously don't get the effect off twice, so you only really need one on the field um, because of the fact that you basically stopped your opponent um, because all of their monsters, their attacks basically get added from their defense, so or their defense gets minus from their attack. So if they have like a monster that's like 2,000 defense and like 3,000 attack, well then the monster now only has 1,000 attack, and it's just a very good card, and then, you know, it protects itself too. So... Really, really good card. Uh, I am playing one Goki Thunder Ogre. I've honestly never gone into this card. It's a really cool looking card, but I just haven't used it. Good Link 3. Uh, I don't know why it's a Link 3. It should be a Link 2, just because it's only 2200 attack, and it's, you know, it's its effect is somewhat decent, I guess. And then the final card I'm playing is, of course, Decode Talker, because you can't really play a uh, Link deck without Decode Talker. It's just an incredible card. 
So yeah, guys, uh, that is my uh, Metal Foes Goki deck or Goki Metal Foes deck. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'll be having a lot more deck profiles coming out now that I've obviously built a lot more decks. You guys have seen my videos um, for the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hall stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!